Hey, everybody. I wanted to show off this project I did in Python that actually builds JavaScript for you off of the Pygo middle software. So to start demoing it, in general, you can choose either sharks or flats. This will change. Go from G sharp, G flat to F sharp. You can also change the duration of your code. And this part, which I'm the most excited about, you can actually change the different pitches of your code note by note. So let's start with a power chord, just a G flat fifth. Let's say we want something a little bit more complicated. Why don't we make it a major chord? Let me make it a major seven chord. Let's add a ninth. And then you can also change the root note on this. You can do a number of different pitches here. And get more sort of rich jazz chords that wouldn't necessarily be easy to configure had you been using all of the MIDI coding for the Pi game on your own. You can also raise or lower the chord. And you can even add chords to a progression and play the chord. From a jazz perspective, I thought it would be good to use one of Miles Davis's songs, or at least the chord progression from the song. Unfortunately, chords aren't copyrightable, so I can demo them for you without necessarily paying anybody. Let's hear the progression. the chord progression to the song. Notice the octave ranges are labeled there for you, as well as the duration. And if you want to change the song, you can always go back and delete chords, or even remove all of the chords from the program. That's the chord builder. You can use it to get ideas programming games, or if you want to practice jazz, you can build your progressions and train yourself to play music over the harmony. To get the software for this, in terms of using Python, I use a combination of Anaconda and Project Duplicate. Also wanted to show off the Pygame link to get an idea for that. There's also a link below and demonstrated here to the documentation to the Pygame MIDI player that the code is all based on. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you have any questions or anything, just leave some comments below and I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks again.